Substitutions happening here. Thomas Mashiko is going to come on, the former TX Galaxy and Cape Town City player. First time as a substitute. We're going to see the 16 year old as well. We'll see a bomber, Dube. He's going to come on for Arshin Domingo. Come with the owl, come with the man. Tibon Pule with a goal. He runs majestically in that to Colmenares penalty area. The header was up, but we expected this from Mamelody Sundowns. First touch for Mashiko. On to you. Will you say it? So we know in with a little touch there, then a little give and go as well. As Mashiko continued with his run on the left hand side. Fresh pair of legs, new ideas, space available from Kulisi. What did Lamont for Golden Arrows have to offer in the final 10 minutes in stoppage time? 11 minutes in stoppage time. A lead there and two Mashiko. He's a tricky man, isn't he? Goes past one of the defenders. A little slider, but he is. Uh, Probably not so much of a focus at the moment. It needs not to be a focus at the moment. Janice Mashiko, again looking for Gaston Serino. Keeper maybe read that. Lots of space on the left hand side for Sundowns. Then you've got uh, Kumalo's on. He's an attacking midfielder, I suppose, and then Gladwinshire follows more than a defensive one. Mashiko's been given far too much respect in the penalty area. And Kulisi, Alende. Actually cleared by back by Mbule. Mbule, I thought, has been terrific since he came on for Bongani Zungu. And Mashiko has been unbelievable. He has been given the space, however. It's not what you have, it's what you do with it. And Kulisi. Fans disappointed. And now Mashiko, you can't drop your heads. Golden arrows.